Welcome back, folks, to Zed Steel Soldier! No, because even that would be better than playing this absolute piss. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the remnants of my sanity! Yes, you join me today playing perhaps one of the worst games I've ever had the misfortune of LPing, and that includes playing Cry of Fear. And. Yes. So, we have to finish the suffering ties that bind today, because I've really had enough of it and would prefer not to do another set. Take that as you will. We So, we last left our incredibly stupid hero uh, in the middle of the street, which again, we're getting angry at the sort of the bollocks he has to play through. Uh, unfortunately, we come through this way, end up on the street, throw a grenade down the back alley, because I'm angry. And, no doubt, have to find some sort of arbitrary way through this. That doesn't make much sense. Since fire would normally kill us, I'm assuming we're not going to go that way. Right then, down this alleyway of doom, no doubt. Yeah, that was a good shot. All lot to learn, player. Now follow me and get your schooling. Remember when you first start playing the game? Uh, well, no, not really, because talk knows, but of course we don't know. That'd be silly. We don't. We're not really told anything. We just kind of roll with it. Whoop. I'm assuming something unpleasant comes out of that hole. It's a tough place. You learned hard. Learned hard, play hard, usual stuff. Ugh, grenaded hard, cheated hard. My, my, you say? This is the second set in a row, Halloween, where things just... <laughs> Your ammo isn't going down, or anything actually happening, or... Am I supposed to be doing something here? What thing are we supposed to walk over to make the set piece work? I do wonder. Well, it's not that, is it, now? Alright, oh, game. Uh, let's play a game of... What? Not that way, then. What about over here, then? No? Okay. We've already been this way. I'm assuming we don't, we're not really supposed to backpedal here. Are there any bazookas or explosives we could use to break this open with? Just machine gun. Oh, a grenade launcher. I guess that'll do the job. No? I'm at a loss for words. Alright, um... Maybe once to get us on the turret? So we can do stuff? Ah, I wanted us to go on the turret, silly me. And here I thought we could avoid a turret section of utter tedium. Nevertheless, I will persevere for your sake. Maybe we should have story time with Halloween instead. I'll tell you the tale of two spiders. Ah, might be an exciting tale. Where should I begin? Well, you all know how the tale began, right? With the... Has it stopped? Alright, well... Ugh. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. You know what? Where's my... Shotgun when you need it. Nope, 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 nope. Why is it not dying? Die, please! I'm supposed to get back on my gun. I always get too distracted when I start talking about the Tale of Two Spiders, and you will think I'm making it up, but there is no Tale of Two Spiders. Well, let me tell you for one second that's not true. There is a Tale of Two Spiders, and it was brilliant. It began with a black spider in a dancer's toilet, and it began with a slightly uh, larger brown spider as well. And these two spiders had a war. And this war was over... I don't know, what is it? Spiders have wars over bugs, I guess. Or the tedious things. We Cataclysm attack expired. No, say it's not so. Ah, uh, well let me kill these dudes first. And it was a tragic tale of these two spiders because one day one of them sadly sadly bit the dust. But it was a long and sort of arduous kind of war they had going. It was quite impressive. Slowly but surely these two spiders would gradually get closer and closer to each other. Of course the uh, poor Halloween would have to trust trying to avoid the downstairs sword at this point because, you know, all the tissues and sort of all the things you need in a downstairs toilet were kind of nicked by spiders. 
your psyche is delicate to the point of brittle. <laughs> I've done well, what I can for you. you and me for all the birds uh -oh. of you. Now your childhood home Always awaits. Keep your, head up. your burden is to discover which side of the mirror the goes the deepest. Let the other guy make the first move. Okay. You do that. Our so, player's got to have his eyes on the competition what at the, all times. What's up with the disappearing building? Of a place to learn the rules, is it now? Mm. Oh, I thought I was done. Oh, you're a metal one, aren't you? All right, well, transform. Anyway, point being, these two spiders did get closer and closer, and it's pretty cool actually. And they had little wars. Occasionally, I'd feed them bugs I found. Occasionally, they got a little, they got a little bit too, you know. Big for the boots. Like you go to like you know talk to one of them or go prod it, and it's not like hissing at you. I don't know how much you guys like spiders, but it's still not very nice at like 2 a.m. in the morning. You've completely forgot they're there. You put your hand on some tissue paper and like to blow your nose or whatever at like 2 a.m. after you come in drunk, and this thing goes and, like starts like screaming at you, and you're like, whoa, that's a weird looking spider hissing at me. And it's kind of big. What? Can I, can I go inside now? Kids, 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 nobody wants to play this game. Don't be silly. Ow. Alright. These kids are having a whale of a time without me. It's fine. You, you, you guys do that. That's cool, the game's just having a moment, just... Not drink. Ah. I'm helping! Do I try and open it again? Uh, Bob? Yeah, Jim? I still don't think our game has enough padding. Oh, well, Bob, uh, sorry to hear that. We'll, uh, get right on that. We'll just add another couple of wave of monsters for you. Uh, should we make them the, uh, the invincible kind that are really annoying to fight as well? Oh, yeah, that sounds great, man. That sounds great. If you just, uh, I know, make that really difficult for them and just, uh, make it as generally as tedious as possible, I think we've got a winner. Fuck both of you. It's gone. Monster's done. Can I come in now? Hey, Bob! Yeah, Jim? Well, we thought that one wave of monsters wouldn't do. Oh, really? What do you think we should do now? A second wave? <gasps> you don't say! Typhum! Appreciate that. We'll walk through. Have a whale of a time. Born into this. Children's home. Outside looks red and sinister. And, uh, has no floor. Good work there, uh, lazy floor texture man. You know who you are. Hey there, my little one. Come over here. Uh, I'm Come good, Ty. I have to educate you. Well, that sounds creepy. Uh, I'm not moving, by the Do way. you know what you want to be when you grow up? Yeah, a guy who doesn't have to play that this. not good enough. You've got to be a player. Then people respect you. You understand the difference? I'm a player. Oh, no. That's okay, my little one. I've got years to teach you. Who are you talking to? Nobody. Yeah, it's obviously. Wow, talk. Puberty hit you like a friggin' truck, man. Alright, well, whatevs. Nice. You recognize this place? Yep. You tried your best to grow up here, learn the game. But there's only so much a little one can do without family. Now our friend Rance, he thought he could sit this one out. <laughs> Turns out, not so. I made his safe little haven not so safe. He's in it now. All his chips on the table. I don't think even you could bail him out. And you'd have to hurry. 
Can I open the door now? No. Nope. Guess I gotta find a way around or something. This way? Nope. Crap, where's the telephone? Hello, ghost wife? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's just ghost pervert instead. Well, whatever, ghost perv. Ugh. Man kills wife and children. Wow. See, this could have been quite an interesting, like, plot point if they focus more on the two serial killers, I think. Rather than Blackmore, who's really boring. These are the ties that bind us. Oh, he name dropped Kapow! Ten points. You can't cut them. You can't burn them. You can't be rid of them. You just have to live with them. Or die with them, like Carmen, Corey, and Malcolm. You remember how that played out? Exactly how that played out? Well, I can always look at the There's better the prequel. Kid. Set him up. Man, can't wait till I'm grown up. I'll show him. I hear your old man's a real asshole. Now I got something that'll make you a big man. Oh yeah? Make you do things you didn't know you could. You want? I want it. It's on me. And when you're tapped, there's more where that came from. All the chemicals we gave him? I'm surprised Corey didn't kill half the city. Hmm. Wasn't for me. He'd still be alive today. We've been through so much together. Do you remember? Again, no, not really. Do tell, though. I remember this. This was the start of the game, right? That's when Tork got bitched out at the start of the LP. And I was really puzzled because that doesn't happen. But then I didn't realise how bad the game was, so... Wait, show me that shifty snake oil deal. I've never laid eyes on Hey, I know your old lady. Fucking nice rack. What, what is Blackmore, a the ghost now? <laughs> That's funny. I thought I was there. I was there. In your eyes. Nobody else could see me. Those blackouts. There when I get my time. Get your body. Get to be me in the real world. Everybody else who knows Blackmore thinks I look like you. Because I am you. But we've only got the one body. And I'm tired of sharing. Oh, I see. Ugh. Well, that makes uh, not a lot of sense, really. I don't think. Although, saying that, I mean, if you had a crazy voice in your head that happened to be Michael Clark Duncan, I mean, there's worse things that are going around there. And, all due respect to the actor, may he rest in peace, it's, you know. It's not that easy. Not nearly. Oh, uh, okay. Let me guess, I'm gonna biff you up in, like, biff mode. Roid Rage! Rawr. Yeah, I'm angry. I'm like the Hulk, but crappy. <laughs> Puny black ball. Splat, splat, splat. Well, that'd be pretty cool, actually. Weird. Oh, nice. I got uber power. Spam that. But we're still alive. Wee. The, the only problem with this kind of thing is that I'm actually losing insanity meter. Is he draining it? Oh, dick. Stop draining my insanity meter, dick. This would make more sense if this was kind of any hint in the first game that, like, talk was, like, crazy. As opposed to the inner monster thing, which we've already got. Which isn't really explained. Unless he's explaining that... This is explaining kind of that the inner monster's black more or something, but that doesn't make much sense. Alright, since 
the suffering is my time to whine. I'm allowed to whine about it because it's crap. The first game just had a lot more going for it in terms of just interesting things. It was set in a prison. All the monsters were related to various different forms of execution in prisons and stuff. It's cool. I've got unlimited powers. Yeah, I turn on boss mode. How about that, mate? God dear, what a clusterfuck. Um, but yeah, the first suffering had lots of interesting things going for it. Wait, does that mean we've won? Oh, please say that means we've won. I forfeit. Now do it. Well, where are you? No, seriously, mate. Are you upstairs? He forfeits. Do it. Whatever it is you want him to do. Give him a hug or something. From what I read up, he does that if you let him grab you. Get you to break the rules and the way I play it's all or nothing yay in a piece of chief <laughs> is that the credits rolling oh jeez boy I'm glad we really uh I had some closure there, that was, uh, that was decent. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Really? If I... We can actually check the archives, which is... Can we go through the archives? Consular scrapbook. Those are all the different locations. Okay, since I'm feeling generous. These are all the pages we unlocked. Whoops, sorry, I think I hit the wrong button. Okay, so these are the notebooks we've unlocked, uh, with all the pages and archives we've unlocked. I'm gonna go through them quickly. If you want to read them, you just need to pause the video. Uh, so. Mainliner, an offshoot of the mainliner. Uh, that's very nice. Marksman. Mauler. Burrower. Suppressor. They got cool names. Isolationist. The horde. The horde. You know, as in Loctar or some shit. Eastern Correctional Solitary Confinement Unit. Eastern Correctional Machine Shop. The Legend of the Creeper. Page locked. Blackmore's Drowning Pool. Well, there's not many places. And Carmen's Diary. Blackmore. Page locked. Oh. The Garvey Children's Home sounds so innocent. We're going the wrong way. We're going backwards. I remember the smell of Eastern. Miles is probably T's best friend. Corey and Malcolm mean everything to me. I never threw any of it out. Some okay, so there you go. If you wanted to see that, you could pause it ahead and knock yourself out and have a bit of a read. So, oh, wow. Okay, the suffering too. Like, I need to make. Maybe at one point in the future, I'll make a separate video, but I'm just going to use this for now. It was a piss poor excuse for a sequel. It took everything the first game did right, got rid of it, and tried to do its own thing, but failed. Doing your own thing is fine. Moving away from even like what you've done before is fine if you're going to do it right. They chucked away the weapon system, which was really good in the first game. They chucked away the actual decent morality system of using the stronger abilities, uh, making life easier for yourself, but getting a worse ending. That was cool. I liked that about the first game. Decent. And it also got rid of the jump scares. Again, that was a nice little feature of the first game. If you didn't use the powers, you got jump scares. Again, more the reason to go to the dark side, so to speak. Uh, the more the interesting locales, you were travelling across the entire island, rather than just one city, which all looked the same. The island looked different, there was different areas. Barring one particular boss, which will remain nameless, you gassy bastard. Uh, the Suffering One's bosses were actually quite interesting as well. The last boss especially was pretty cool, with the orb throwing and whatnot. Uh, and just generally speaking, it's just... Wow, guys. Like, what did you do? What did you do? I wonder if there's a change of team or something, because it doesn't feel like it was the same, even the same series, you know? The only thing that related it was the fact we got talk, we got the monster. Everything else just, just, just didn't really seem like it was there. Like... They had a, it looks like someone gave them a rough plan of what was in the first game and just went, do it again! Sorry guys, I, it, just, it was just poor. You did, you did everything worse. I could go into massive detail about what, what is wrong and why they, where they've gone wrong and how it compares to the first, but there's no real point. You've heard me whinge about it through the LP. 
Um, this is the first game that I've LP'd and have thoroughly disliked pretty much almost the entire way through. It's poor. And it was really poor. It's a shame. I mean that is a shame because I, while I had a few dodgy times with the first game, uh, with the crashing, um, it was overall pretty decent. This was just, god dear, what a struggle. I mean the fact that I had to turn on some cheat codes just to finish this game and get it done was just outstanding. Really, guys. Bravo. So there you go, you're now free of the suffering too, like I am. My sanity will return and I will no longer have to whinge about it. So that's good for everybody, I think. Either way, I thank you if you have put up with it to the very end. I hope you've enjoyed the suffering too, as much as you can do. Or if you enjoyed it completely, then I'm really pleased for you. Thanks, guys. And until next time. Also, seriously, that ending, Jesus Christ, what were they thinking? Like, that can't be the ending. You can't just go, talk, looks into sky, smirks that he's won the day. I assume there's a good ending, a bad ending, and maybe a neutral ending. I don't even know which one I've got. It's hard to tell. I assume I've got the good ending. What happened to the serial killer guy? What's going on? Whatever, I'm sick of it.